Hey, what's up guys? It is Deepo here from Deeper Gaming, and welcome to game number 6 between Chobo and Believe. This is uh, AWL, if you guys didn't know already from the previous matches. Uh, go check out the previous ones if you guys haven't already. And this is on Outland, Outland something. You guys just saw the map, I forget what it's called. Uh, this map is called something Outland. Was it Invader? I'm not too sure. But I've seen one game on this map, but I'm not too familiar with the creeps. So let me take off the Fog of War and show you guys really quick. Uh, we do have some Dark Seers, that I like to call them, from Dota. And uh, let's uh, check this. Ooh, we got a... Uh, what the heck? We got like a... Uh, you know, this is a weird creep. I've never seen this before. There used to be a red map like this uh, on, on Frozen Throne in like 4v4, which I enjoyed. But they took that out and they added a few new maps for 4v4 on a patch. They added like Gold Rush and stuff for 4v4. Maybe you RT fans out there uh, remember that. I remember there was a map like this that was red. I always had a good time playing it, but then they took it out to add some newer maps, which wasn't all too bad, but um, I, I kind of miss that old red map, uh, you know, the red ground, but it does look like these creeps are actually kind of strong, so it's going to be interesting to see how the players will react and what they will do. Let's take up the Fog of War. So uh, anyways, this is one of those maps that is actually kind of hard to make a professional uh, build, I guess you could say, that's uh, a lot of players aren't used to it. Uh, it's kind of more a narrow build, or, or it's not really a build, you have no choice. It's a narrow build. Uh, a base spawn, I guess you could say. It looks like the orc actually is a little bit tighter. No one's about the same. And uh, Blade Master Standard coming out for Chobo. And Chobo is one of the last two games going on. Uh, Blade Master Torn Chieftain. Let's see if Believe. Yeah, Believe is actually going to mix it up a little bit. He went for Standard Fiends this time. Uh, he Believe actually had pretty good success going for the first three games. Uh, going for uh, DK Fiends first, which uh, I'm not sure why he didn't do the last two games. Maybe he just wanted to mix it up and felt like he uh, had a confident ghoul build, but uh, Chobo managed to handle it pretty pretty well so believe is going to go for the death knight and the uh, early fiend as usual uh, against orc I, I like to call the standard build against orc and chobo does get that early scout out uh, as i said it does look like these bases are pretty narrow and uh, going to be interesting attack. to see uh, where they're going to build their uh, t2 buildings because it is, it is going to be pretty compact uh, we do have a goblin lab, so maybe some zeppelins are going to be involved. Let's see if we have a goblin uh, merch and uh, no goblin merches. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, this is one of the few maps. Oh, never mind. We have goblin merch. Yeah, we have the goblin merch. I was going to say, nowadays, no goblin merch. And Chobo's going to be uh, creeping out these little uh, dark seers, that I like to call it. And uh, is going to pick up about Please halfway to level 2. Uh, needs to wait on his shop, though, to pick up. Uh, some healing salves. It looks like maybe he's going to go for this little green camp. No, instead he's going to go for the uh, another little, uh, I guess you could say, semi-orange camp. It does look like we are having some dragging of the creeps coming by Believe, and Believe uh, is going to be able to pick off this uh, fell guard uh, with ease when they're going to be running back. So, uh, yeah, these fell guards don't look too strong. I mean, they do have chaos damage, but look, they don't do too much damage. We actually have a grunt, uh, uh, a grunt, chaos grunt, it looks like. Actually, no uh, bars, uh, no name coming for that as well. So kind of a, uh, probably not an official map, but maybe AWL is just using it just to uh, expose some players to some different maps, uh, which is always kind of kind of cool to see pros how they react. And uh, meanwhile, we have the uh, Blade Master sitting at level two. Does have a clause of attack, so that's always nice to have on your Blade Master. We've got the AW flags, nice flags right there. I'm zooming on it. Uh, interesting to see how they actually incorporate that. Two more flags. But I'm not too sure how are they actually write the AWL. Kind of interesting to see how uh, map makers actually do that. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I'd like to find that out one of these days. But anyways, we have uh, a ghoul coming out for Believe. Believe is sitting at 22 food. Uh, and uh, meanwhile, we have Chobo sitting at 26 food. Uh, now we have Blade Master coming in trying to do some harass on the DK. I uh, won't do too much. Ooh, actually got a surround, but it, luckily he had a Cloak of Shadow. So really lucky by Believe there that he had Cloak of Shadow. But we actually had a three unit surround and a tree. Nicely done there by Chobo. Uh, that was a really nice play. Other than uh, Believe had a Cloak of Shadows. Lucky for him. That would have been uh, very, very bad if he lost the DK or even had to TB that early in the game. It does look like uh, we are going to have the Blade Master. 
Master. Uh, actually, go for the Goblin Merge of, I guess you could say, I believe Goblin Merge. Ooh, we actually have like an inhalation being put on by this big uh, Dark Slayer. Uh, and uh, let's see what item he does pick up. He picks up a Wand of Mana, mana Stealing. Maybe he's going to sell that. Uh, he does pick up the Boot Speed and a Circle. So his Blade Master is almost uh, basically complete to the stack ability, I guess you could say. And uh, he's going to pick up level 3 after one more creep camp after this one. Uh, meanwhile, we have the uh, creeping coming by, I believe, DK trying to pick up that level 3. And uh, is going to have to do it by creeping out this goblin lab. Let's see if he's going to go for this one. And uh, yeah, it looks like he's going to go for it. going to be pretty aggressive to see if the uh, Blade Master of Trouble is going to scout this. Uh, anyways, we do have a gob uh, skeleton actually being killed. Maybe uh, I believe didn't really know uh, what his creeps were around him. So maybe he just wanted to scout it. Uh, meanwhile, we have the Blade Master coming in. Maybe going to try to get a creep jack here. He is at level 2 sniffing out for that level 3. Any little creep will do it. Let's see if he does it right now. Ooh, got countered by this little uh, seer at level 6. Was a healing wave. So it countered that. And, um... Uh, trouble won't be level three. There's a one walk again trying to get these uh, uh, fiends down It does look like uh, there is a counter with the death coil uh, fiends trying to move back in there is the coal tower hitting it And now there is a desolate appearance pushing back Chobo's army uh, and the four grunts. The Blade Master is going to have to back up, back up now. Uh, sitting at almost level three. Actually going for a quick fortress. So that means he's going to try to get that lightning orb to complete the stack ability oh, of that Blade Master. A bestiary coming in. A solo bestiary. And uh, most likely, uh, yeah, Torn Chieftain. Uh, now we have the Creeping. Believe's not going to give up. He's going to try to go back to this creep camp. Blade Master looks like he's coming back in. Trying to sniff out level three. Actually did get a creep kill. But he only needs four more XP to get that. And let's see if he's going to be aggressive and try to get off a of fiend and no he's not he's gonna try to back up there's a speed scroll was being slowed by the uh, nerubian tower nice play there one of his units probably would have died if he stayed uh, close actually was the halls of the dead wasn't the nerubian putting down a slaughterhouse to see if he's going for lich yeah he just started making the lich and uh meanwhile we have the torn chieftain coming in and now chobo's gonna creep out his goblin merch and uh, Blade Master pretty stacked, only with three items though. But uh, once he picks up level three, it's gonna be really nice to see what item he does pick up here uh, off this level five uh, creep here. Let's see what he's gonna get. Maybe he's just trying to make his Blade Master back up so his Torn Chief can get more XP. Scroll the Beast, that's always pretty good. Uh, but it does look like uh, Believe is gonna go for a uh, Destroyer build, so that maybe uh, maybe uh, Chobo might sell that. Actually, we do have this dark, dark Seer still at level 6. He was one of the smaller Dark Seers, but he does have mana, so that's probably why he's level 6. Uh, Blade Master just scouting. It does look like uh, the DK is actually far away from Believe's army, but uh, the Blade Master is not going to risk it. Uh, DK coming over here with some harass, it looks like, uh, just with a skeleton. Uh, Miss Stomp there ch for Cho'o, and uh, not too worried about it. Uh, his mana to waste. Uh, we actually we ha we have five grunts coming for Chobo, and let's see what the Death Knight is doing. Death Knight's running back uh, to his base. Blade Master is gonna follow that Death Knight. Actually, moving a little bit quicker uh, with the Wind Walk. We do have a, a Lich uh, out. It's gonna be interesting to see if we're gonna see some Frost Armor or some Frost Nova. We could see either Blade one at this point. Are uh, we are having some Black Citadel being upgraded right now. We actually do have a. Uh, Temple of the Damned as well, so that is going to be mean Banshees to try to counter against that Blade to get him some misses uh, with that curse activated on him. And uh, Blade Master is trying to focus on the Corn Fiend, and it is countered pretty well with the Frost Armor and a Coil. Uh, DK is level 3, so that Coil will be pretty effective in uh, canceling uh, the Blade Master's uh, basically auto attack. Uh, we do have a, a Duster Appearance being picked up by this uh, Blade Master. Uh, meanwhile, we have the Torn Chieftain really need to salve up. They pick up a Ring of Regeneration, and it looks like we have Believe going for a big push right now. Uh, DK is falling behind with a, uh, a, a statue as well, and uh, is trying to pick up that uh, uh, Black Citadel as quick as he can. But uh, the T3 for Trouble is finished, so he's going to most likely try to get a uh, orb as quick as he can. Uh, Blade has to be careful. No heals on it. There's a coil instantly. Uh, Blade does pick up the orb. Let's see if uh, Blade is going to be focused. There is no Frost, uh, uh, Frost Nova yet, so he probably would have been able to kill that Blade if he did have Frost Nova. Trying to take down that um, 
Voodoo Lounge right away. The Blight does look a little bit different. Looks a little red. That's pretty cool. And uh, let's see. There is a Coil and uh, Bad Stomp there coming for Chobo. It does look like Blade Master. Just have to be careful. There's a Dust Appearance being casted by Blade Master. And I maybe thought there was a Shade around, but there is no Shade. He was just Dust Appearance. And now we have the Orc Army trying to get better positioning with some Speech Scroll. Uh, actually engaging some of the creeps. So that's nicely done there by Believe. And Believe is doing a very nice job here. He needs to take down that Voodoo Lounge to help cancel against any of the healing only has the ring, ring of regeneration healing up on that blade maybe gonna go for a coil it is in range with the death knight not sure why he's not going for a coil he could call it uh there is a blade uh there is a dust appearance excuse me and blade is gonna back up from this battle uh probably should get some pns involved probably won't make too big of a difference uh we do have some skeletons being spawned as well and some really nice use of this blade uh undead units are healing a little bit faster uh, we do have a voodoo lounge being put up to the right and uh, not a good fight here for Chobo. Uh, too much frost armor. A nice stomp though. Blade is ready to re-engage. Uh, that's the first unit. Undead is trying to focus though. Uh, Kota Beast actually did eat a uh, fiend. And uh, Blade Master was being focused. We'll have to run away. Uh, no one walk left. No mana left. And the only thing healing up that blade is the re ring of regeneration. I believe doing a very nice job with Micro. Uh, using this frost armor to his advantage. Dominating these grunts. Grunts can't really do too much. Uh, trying to focus down that one. Kota Beast does have that uh, uh, fiend inside him. But there is a blade. Uh, one more hit. On the Kota will do it. Six more HP. Blade is going to work here. Blade does have to be careful though. Uh, doesn't have a shop up to get any pots yet. Uh, Torn Chieftain uh, doesn't have enough mana yet to uh, get a stomp. Trying to focus down this uh, Burrowed Fiend, but doesn't have a Dust Appearance uh, left Players on his heroes. And uh, whoa, lag, 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 lag. Anyways, all right, back. We're back. We're back. And uh, uh, we see a Crypt Fiend. Let's check out how much food Believe has. Believe is sitting at 41 food. We have 37 food for Chobo. Blade Master has to be careful. He needs to get a potion. He needs to get some salve on that Blade Master. Blade Master really weak. Has to be careful though. By a uh, by a focus. There is a uh, focus with a nuke. There is a potion trying to take down the Blade. Blade has no TP. Blade is being chased. And uh, DK has a, uh, a wand of uh, what is, uh, a lightning shield on him as well. So uh, is uh, very nice if he uh, is getting focused. But he is taking a lot of damage from these fiends actually passing that lightning shield on the AOE and uh, we have some heal Chobo doing a nice job defending this but Believe is doing a better job on the push uh, nice use of blight a long fight here and uh, Lich is still not level 2 still level 1 just keeps on casting that frost armor we do have a statue getting involved trying to focus down the Lich there was a stomp but uh, DK was a little bit far range does look like D, uh, BM uh, does have to be careful there is a lot of focus coming on uh, DK needs a frost armor there's a frost armor a really epic fight right here and uh, Chobo really needs to get uh, some peons involved there isn't too many bros only uh, f uh, 40 food right now Lich has to be careful a uh, blade trying to get back involved there's a call on the Lich Lich does pick a level 2 let's see if he's gonna go for a nuke on the blade and uh, no blade did he use a potion let's see on that just trying to focus on that blade all the way but he does lose a few fiends in the process and DK does have to be careful cannot lose that DK that does look like he will get a stomp in a few moments uh, he does have enough for a Frost Nova. Let's see if he's going to go for a Frost Nova. And then a nuke with uh, the combination of heroes. Let's see if he's going to go for it. And uh, let's see if he's going to go. He could get it right now. There it is. One more hit on Blade. No, Blade got away. Oh my gosh. Chobo is still in this game. Keeping that Blade with him. Getting some peons involved just for some extra tanking. But it is slowing his uh, whole army down. Uh, Blade uh, does not have Dust Appearance, so he is okay. Trying to heal up. Uh, Believe trying to take down that one Voodoo Lounge. If he is able to, able to do that, that will change the game right now. Uh, Believe still just sending Fiends and some statues back in this game. There is a DK. He is being focused. Does get stomped. He does have to force a TP. No! He Nova coiled the Blade Master just to get out of that blocking. Does take down another Grunt and not looking too good here for Chobo. Chobo is losing all of his units, all his army. Already lost his Blade. Lost three Grunts there. And um, very, it would have been very nice if Chobo was able to take down that DK. DK did go hiding. Uh, but in response to that... Uh, uh, but, uh, Chobo, uh, excuse me, believe went Nova Coil on the Blade and Blade just got out nuked. So, hope you guys enjoyed game number six, game number seven coming right your way.